Hi friends, this is uh, part two of the continuation of this. I'm sorry I look like crap, I'm getting over COVID. Not very much fun. So um, I'll show you what happened. Using the idea I had of making a uh, barrier, eh, it sort of worked but it's not as good as the old way of doing it, and um, I much prefer it. This one turned out pretty good, even though I let the uh, resin go down the sides. So I'm gonna flip the, the camera now. Here's one that I did, and I had put the tape up the sides, and um, when I, it was a nightmare to get it off. So creating the barrier is not a good idea. Do not do that. That was number one, do not do. Okay, the other thing was, it was not completely level. And <clears throat> it's a little, you can see the resin is thicker here than it is here. So it kind of flowed that way. All right, so. Your level has to be exact, like exact. It has to be accurate. And you must have a very flat surface and level, level, level. All right, the other thing that happened that I did not notice was I got some, this one here, there must have been something on the wood that repelled the resin. So I have this big hole here, and as you can see, I've sanded it. So I've sanded this, I sanded the sides a little bit. And so now what I'm gonna have to do is retape, put another layer of resin, and just call it done. And I'm not gonna worry about my sides because I'm going to put it in a frame which will cover that, you see? So that'll get me off the hook there. But um, yeah, and I also had a little tiny bubble here, which I also sanded. And then I had to clean out. Sorry, my voice is going. I had to clean out the center here. And uh, so that's one. Okay, here's the other one that I did not tape the sides at all. And I let it run down the sides. And you can see, I don't know if you can see this. Uh, there you go. You can see it there. I don't know if you'd want to have that or not, that would be the way it would, it would go. It's pretty hard to get the resin to be smooth. It never, it only stays smooth because it's self-leveling and it will stay smooth on a flat surface. So this one also, it pulled away from my edge so I'm going to go in and I'm going to just tape over this here and then I'm going to re-resin that also. And I have a couple of bubbles in this which I will have to sand. So I'll have to sand that there. Okay, so we got that. Now this one turned out pretty good actually. I think I had, I think I had the, the barrier on this one but I took it off when it wasn't quite hard. So I have like a lip here and I'm going to have to sand that off. But otherwise this one looks pretty good. And I could just frame it um, the way it is. But the beauty of putting them on wood is you don't need a frame. But yeah, I've got to take a, a tool and cut all that resin off. So if I don't have a frame, that's what I'm gonna do. And I don't think this one needs a second layer. It looks pretty good. There's no flaws. So you can see, oh, I've got this thing. <clears throat> All right, there we can see it pretty good now. You can see the whole picture. This is a 11, no, a nine by 12 size. So, that's the story and I'm sticking to it, guys. So, 
There you go. Yeah, this one turned out real pretty. And these will be available for sale. DM me if you're interested. So there's two. And there's a baby one. And I have one more. This one is a 4x4. Four four. This is, I don't know what, 8x10. And uh, this, uh, this one here is done with alcohol inks underneath. And then I sprayed them with um, a Krylon fixative. And then on top of that, I sprayed them with a sunlight protector, UV protector. Sorry. When you have COVID, your brain doesn't work so good. Okay, so we got that. So there you go. And um, so I will back to the drawing board. I have to fix them. And uh, then I'll put up another bit to it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'm feeling pretty pitiful these days. I've been sick for 10 days now. So if any of you out there get COVID, go see a doctor. I didn't get to see the doctor until yesterday. Um, so take care of yourselves and uh, subscribe, ring the bell, and all that jazz. Love you all. Bye.